Hey guys, Axel Andrews here, and today we're talking about the spy in your wallet. As if we don't have enough to worry about already with our privacy, now we have to think about our credit cards, monitoring our spending habits, and tracking our lives. Recently, a tech columnist with the Washington Post did an experiment where he purchased two bananas with two credit cards to see how those credit card companies used the information about the transaction. One was the Amazon Prime Chase card. The other was a new Apple card, which promises to be a lot better about privacy. What he found is that after he made the banana purchase, a lot of third parties got that information, including Amazon, Target, Google, marketers, and even hedge funds. He was immediately hit with targeted ads and junk mail. Does all of this sound familiar? Because it should. The exact same thing happens when we have a text or instant message conversation via social media or post certain things on social media. Even when we visit shops and restaurants, we can all relate to the targeted ads hitting us immediately afterwards. That seems more than a coincidence. Yes, we already know that our phone tracks us in many ways. And some even believe that the verbal conversations we have are picked up by Siri, Alexa, and other digital personal assistants. But now, we have to worry about credit cards? Apparently so. And just like any other agreement we sign online, the one with the credit card company also gives them permission to send your purchasing information to third parties, which then use that data to track you. Now, there is a federal law that says banks and companies can share our data with third parties, but that they are required to let us know about that in the form of a letter. The truth is, most of us just toss out that letter without giving it much attention. We sacrifice our privacy for convenience on a daily basis. I wonder if anyone is ever going to draw the line, stiffen the laws, show that they actually care about their privacy in a big way. The quickest solution to the credit card issue is to simply pay for everything in cash, but we all know that's not so easy. I would love to know what you guys think about this topic. Be sure to leave a comment below. Do you think it's okay that credit card companies sell your purchase information to third parties? And what do you think is the best solution to this growing problem? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.